Hi, South Florida. I'm Eric Yeltsin. I'm JC Birch. This morning, we are all watching Tropical Storm Idalia, which is expected to strengthen into a hurricane before hitting Florida's west coast. A tropical storm watch is in effect for the lower Florida Keys. And we do have team coverage this morning. Samir Nefsi is standing by with how Florida cities are preparing for what the storm could bring. Let's begin this morning with our certified meteorologist, Julie Durda, in the Weather Authority Center with the very latest on the storm forecast. Julie. Hi, Eric. JC in South Florida. As you heard, we mentioned the 5 a.m. advisory has now a Dahlia actually strengthening. It's got winds of 65 miles per hour. We're not just tracking only a Dahlia in the northwestern Caribbean. We also have Franklin that, as of the 5 a.m. advisory, became a major Category 3 hurricane just to the east of the Bahamas. Okay, but all eyes on Adalia because the state of Florida is preparing for the system. Winds of 65 miles per hour, pressure 989 millibars is moving to the north at 7 miles per hour, and the center is located 125 miles just south of the western tip of Cuba. Forecast projected path has the system riding parallel to the state of Florida for much of its duration until it starts to move closer and is expected to make landfall near the Big Bend of Florida, near Cedar Key. One thing I can tell you, much in the direct impacts will stay well west of South Florida, with the exception of the wind strengthening as its closest approach to the Keys, which will be tomorrow. So there is a tropical storm warning for the dry Tortugas. We have a tropical storm watch for the lower Keys. You can see the forecast projected path and the wind is expected to strengthen going into tonight and into tomorrow morning, mainly for the Keys. And then eventually we will see the system make landfall. And a big concern is the storm surge with the system because not only only are we dealing with the storm surge effects from the system, but also King Tide. The tides will be higher than normal because we have a full moon phase. Remember, we have two super moons this month and we'll end the month with that super moon. And unfortunately, the timing of this is not good. We are going to see down here in South Florida the possibility of up to three feet of storm surge with those higher than normal tides. So the timing of the storms, we'll see a few downpours this afternoon. But really, the main event of the system for South Florida will be Tuesday into Wednesday with the rain bands bringing us downpours and also some very gusty winds. So as you're planning your week ahead this morning, getting ready to head out the door and get the kids ready for school, School. We're not expecting too much in the way of precipitation this morning. Really, it's going into tomorrow when we'll we talking about the flood threat. So the school bus forecast doesn't look terrible, but definitely make sure you have the rain gear for this afternoon. More on all this coming up.